The Washington University Genome Sequencing Center is a member of the International Human Genome Consortium and is world renowned for its work contributing to the sequence of the human genome and the genomic sequences of several other organisms. Hold the bus. Hold the bus, thank you. Thanks. Are you in my genetics class? Yeah, I thought I recognized you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm Bryson. I'm Libby. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so where are you headed? Um, on my way to the Genome Sequencing Center. I'm taking a tour today. No kidding, me too. Okay, I guess I'm on the right shuttle. Yeah. Welcome to the Genome Sequencing Center, Washington University. I'm Andrea Holmes. On this tour today, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step processes involved in sequencing a genome, and I'll also point out the different career opportunities available to someone who's interested in working at a lab facility like the Sequencing Center. Let me give you a little bit of history. We started back in 1990 with a team of five people and a budget of about $500,000. We currently employ over 150 people and have a budget in the millions of dollars. We have jobs ranging from administrative personnel to research technicians, scientists, and engineers. We also employ information technology specialists who are responsible for developing and maintaining all of our computer systems. That sounds really complicated. How do you keep track of everything? The genomes of many organisms can be large and keeping track of everything is a huge job. You will notice as we go along that we utilize a barcoding system to keep track of everything from growth media to the individual DNA samples. We also use powerful servers with large storage capacities for handling terabytes of data. So what other genomes have been sequenced here? The center has sequenced the genomes of a roundworm C. elegans, a plant, Arabidopsis thaliana, and two bacteria, Salmonella and E. coli. Currently, we are sequencing the genomes of Gallus gallus, a wild chicken, chimpanzee, and mouse. We also sequenced the genomes of the SARS virus and an E. coli strain responsible for causing the majority of urinary tract infections. So how do you actually sequence a genome? Well, the overall system is comparable to an assembly line, but the product is information. There are a number of steps that contribute to the finished product, which is the sequence of DNA base pairs that spell out an organism's genome. As we walk through the various labs, we will follow the process that leads to a sequenced genome. Okay, let's go on to MediaCorp. 